The navigation pane has got to be one of my favorite Microsoft Word tools. I create and use a lot of long documents, so it's really a time saver. But even if your documents are not long, you're sure to find some use for the navigation pane. The navigation pane will take you to a page or a heading in your document without you having to scroll. Also, when you do a search in your document, you can use the navigation pane to help you know if you located the right item. Let me show you. So there's a couple of different ways to open up the navigation pane. You could either press Control F on your keyboard, F like find. You could go to the View tab in your ribbon, and in the Show group, you'll see Navigation Pane. Or on the left-hand side of your screen, lower left, where it says Page 1 of 16, or Page whatever of whatever for your document, you can just give a click. And you will see here that the Navigation Pane is divided into three sections, Headings, Pages, and Results. Right now, mine opened up to the Results because the last thing that I did with it was a search. But let me switch over to headings. This is one of the things that makes the navigation pane so great. When you've applied heading styles to your document, those headings are then going to appear in the navigation pane. Now, these are headings for text, headings for other objects like tables or headers and footers or even text boxes won't appear in the navigation pane. And you'll find your headings on the Home tab of your ribbon in the Styles group or in your Styles pane. And if you haven't used headings yet or just want to become a little bit more familiar with them, don't worry, that's coming up a little bit later on in this course. All right, so first let me show you how to navigate with the navigation pane. Let's say that I'm working in this document and it's 16 pages long and I need to go to the appendix, which is one of the last pages. I could use my standard scroll bar over here on the right hand side, or I can come to my navigation pane. You see there's a scroll bar there. Scroll until I see the appendix, just give a click and it takes me right there. Now I'm down in page eight. If I need to go to my marketing section, I can just click on the marketing header. If I needed to go to advertising and promotion, just give a click on that. So you see how fast it is to navigate around your document. And it's a great document map too. So just by taking a look at the navigation pane, I can tell what my document's about. And I can see if my sections are in the right order. And speaking of which, let's say that under description of business, I've got location and interior. And let's say, oops, that's in the wrong order. It should be interior and then location. Well, normally what you might do is come into the Word document, highlight all of interior, cut it, scroll back up, and then paste it. But when that happens, and you've probably seen this, sometimes you get extra lines. Sometimes you get your information going on to a whole other page, which is what you don't want. But if you use the navigation pane to move around your sections, it makes it so much easier. I can just take interior here in the navigation pane, hold down the left mouse button, and then drag up. And look at that, it's so nice. Being able to click and drag and to rearrange and to restructure documents in Word, it's one of my favorite features of the navigation pane. Now, something else that you can do, and I mentioned this in the heading section, is let's say that, I don't know, let's say that management here, this heading, is supposed to be a heading one, and it's a heading two. Well, what I can do is I can right mouse click on it, and I can promote it. And now it's a heading one. You can tell by taking a look here in the navigation pane, it's over to the left hand side. And then also taking a look here at the font, it looks different than heading two. And in the styles group, heading one is selected. So you see, it's another way to restructure. All right, but I want to leave that as a heading two. So I'll go ahead and control Z to undo that. Now, something else that I use my navigation pane for, I do work with a lot of long documents, like I said, and sometimes I need to take out portions of the document and put it onto a new document. So for instance, products and services, if I want to copy this to a new document, 
instead of going into the page and highlighting it and copying it, what I can do here is right mouse click and I can select the heading and the content. And you can see it just selects that. So now I can copy and paste. I don't have to worry about dragging too far or not dragging far enough. Everything in that section is now highlighted. Let me go back into my options. I'll right click again. And just to show you what else you can do here, you can add in a new heading before or after. You can create a new subheading inside of this subheading. You can delete this entire section here of products and services. You saw how to select everything. This is really cool. If you just want to print products and services or any other heading, you can choose to print heading and content. Now, right now you're just in the subheading, but let's say, let me scroll up a bit, that you wanted to print out all of the description of business and every single one of its subheadings. That's when you would come right up to the top here to description of business. You can right click and you can choose to print the heading and content. It'll grab everything. It grabs everything before the next heading one. And when I click on select heading and content, you can see that it highlighted everything between description of business and marketing. It highlighted company and ownership, interior, location, everything within that group. All right, one more thing. I'll go ahead and right click. And you can see there's also expand all if this were collapsed. There's collapse all. There we go. And if you're working with a really long document, this is good because you can just switch between your main topics here. I'll go ahead and expand everything. All right. And you can individually collapse too, just by using these arrows. And that makes it a little bit easier to focus as well. And then finally you have show heading levels which right now you're seeing every single heading in this document, but if I only wanted to show my heading one, there we go. It's like it collapses everything. All right, I'll right mouse click again and expand. So you can see how the navigation pane is super user friendly, super helpful. And I've just taken a look at the heading section. Let me switch over to pages. Here in pages, you can see all of your different pages. So if you're like, hey, I need to go to that pie chart, you can just scroll down through here without scrolling through the document. Oh, it's on page six. Give a click. It takes you right over to page six and your pie chart. All right, now the results tab. Remember, that opened up when I did a find. So let's say that I'm looking for the franchiser. So I'll start to type in See, I'm typing in F-R-A-N and it's bringing up franchise. It actually starts to search while you type. For example, if I type in Mark, see it brought up 30 results. If I type market, 27. If I type marketing, three. So it searches as you go. And notice the three results here in the pane. It tells you what sentence or location each instance is at. And notice here in the document, it highlights in yellow that instance. Now here's something else. If I switch over to pages, it filters just for the pages that has marketing on it. So there's just three pages with the word marketing. And when I go to headings, I see all of my headings, but it just highlights the headings with the word marketing. And besides finding, there's a little drop down here where you can do your find and replace, advanced finds, you can find graphics and tables, and so on. So the navigation pane, if you haven't used it yet, I absolutely 100% suggest using it. It has so many features, so much functionality. And again, you can either press Control F to open it up. You can go to the View tab and check it in the Show group. You can click on the page numbers down here at the bottom to toggle it, but absolutely test it out and I guarantee you'll be using it from this point on.